All right, welcome back. We are now in game number three. It's all or nothing here between St. Clair College and Stevens Institute of Technology. We're on Dorado for game number three. When the map was picked, I heard a couple groans across the the nest here uh, at St. Clair. Yeah, there's a there's a couple groans going in because it is Dorado, is not a fan favorite. I mean, when we seen in the match yesterday. Um, Sinclair wasn't exactly a fan of Junkertown either, but they did manage to pull it off there. So I'm curious, even though they're not fans of Dorado, can they make this work? Here We're going to see St. Clair with the Bunker Pirate Ship combo going on right now. As uh, Stevens Institute is going to be like, hey, they got a Bastion. We're just going to pull the corner. Yeah, they took the top at first, but now, yeah, they're just dropping completely. So, uh, McCree gets slept right in the top corner, so he's going to be taken out of the fight right away. And. Immortality go field going down early, and Doomfist is flanking, but he gets he picked melted. by Jump Jump instantly. And St. Clair is electric right off the start. We're going to see them just take control of map three early. Sigma pushing up, but he doesn't have his experimental barrier. His experimental barrier is going to stay a little bit behind so that he can protect the Bastion. That's Couch taking out Lucio. Legendary taking out Walla. And then Jussie taking out Orisa. St. Clair is in the advantage with their with their players. And yeah, one after another, members of Steven just dropping. There is the Deadeye. This is coming Deadeye out from the side of Legendary. But Jussie, him. again, <laughs> the DPSing support legend taking care of Legendary. We don't even know if this guy is abiding by the rules of roll queue. Walla taking out bad player right now, so that's Junkrat down early in this fight. Per nice little purple on on uh, Stevens Institute's uh, oh, signal was go down early. And uh, Lucio looks like he's going to be targeted next. They right there. Don't know if they're going to use Nano here. It doesn't look like they have to. And May is going to get purpled. Moira is going to go down. And that's oh, this is the tank Rissa form. going down too. And, and May's going to try to freeze the Bastion all you want. But if you want to freeze the Bastion, you got to remember that there's five other players to worry about. Yeah, if you freeze the Bastion and he's in the middle of his team, I mean, you could try to get the pick. But it might be a little bit difficult. And as we see St. Clair taking that first point with rather ease. Yep, yeah, St. Clair opting to go with the easy way out. Look, oh, we see a Genji pick for bad player. That is... Hey, what's going on, Genji? I have not seen you in a while in a comp match. I mean, we saw Jub Jub pick up in the room. <laughs> we didn't actually see it leave the spawn room. This is the first time we're seeing a Genji in a long time. Uh, he decided he's going to tease us with the Genji and not actually give it to us. Um, St. Clair just moving along with like little gentle stroll through oh, the Oh, that Flux got at least four players, I think. The Flux got two. nobody because May, May, pulled oh. her, uh, May pulled her ice block and she fell off of it. Oh. And, uh, uh, Rissa pulled their gold, but that is St. Clair wiping the floor with Stevens Institute. They didn't even know what hit them. So I got completely juked, but it was in the benefit of St. Clair. They get that complete team wipe. Nicely done. Yeah, you know, I just said that, like, uh, Stevens Institute didn't know what hit them, but I'm pretty sure they do. It was a Bastion. <laughs> it was a Bastion indeed. Alongside a massive support line. Oh, they're going to choose to go for this fight. May's going to stagger out and... Jump Jump gonna take out the May right away. Here's a beat drop for Stevens Institute. Nice little flux taking out two players, but the immortality is gonna keep him alive. Jump Jump does go down. Yeah, Jump Jump goes down, and that's Nano going on for the Sigma. The Was that the right Steven, target? Stevens Institute just coming back from nothing to take this. There's no reason they should have taken that. Yeah, with Jump Jump going down as early as he did. In that fight, I think that nano boost was supposed to be for him, but I think Kingdom Heart fired it at him as he dropped, so it hit Couch instead. Yeah. So I'm a little unfortunate there. If if it wasn't that, they were trying to a little bit like put some more damage on that uh, flux, Vatic flux, <laughs> which could have been possible. Absolutely. Now Jub Jub going for the high ground on the Bastion, but he is supported by the immortality field of a Baptiste, but no shield. Oh, here we go. Everybody else is following up a little bit behind, but they're going to be totally ready for this. Now, the tank form is ready for Jub Jub, but if he jumps in and Legendary pops his Blizzard, that could be scary. So, St. Clair's going to have to take this with a little bit of caution. Jub Jub's going to go for the pick on the Sigma, but the Sigma's going to pull his shields up and not let him take damage. 
Walla getting extremely close to going down. Oh. Couch with the nice Gravatic Flux, but nobody's going to go down to that. Bashing there we go. Form, taking out the Symmetra, going for the Orisa. Takes out the Orisa, takes out the Sigma. He's going for all in. He wants everybody. The fact that Jub Jub split off from the rest of the team when he went for that ultimate was perfect because the May couldn't just pop Blizzard and be okay with everything. That was perfect. Now, uh, still alive on that is the Lucio. And I just don't going think down. Steven's Institute of Technology is going to be able to take out anybody else. And a few players got the bad spawn on St. Clair, so they're going to have to wait a little bit. Now, Sinclair did manage to get that second point, so they got two points on the board currently and still have three minutes to try and make it around this bend, which tends to be one of the more difficult points to capture this overall. is why nobody likes Dorado. This, Just this, this specifically point. for this point, I'm, right? I'm, yeah, I, that's why I don't, at least, and I, that's why I, I know a lot of people don't. Uh, Bastion coming out for Steven's Institute of Technology, but Jub Jub's going to take out the Orisa early. Nice little halt. Oh, Sigma no. goes down. Symmetra goes down. This is Bastion exactly what it's meant to do. Everybody is going down. Nice little amplification matrix by the Baptiste to make sure that Bastion does just even more damage than he already does. So, May's going to go for the wall right here to try to. But Arissa's going to contest real quick. And bad players on the bat. Wow. The <laughs> and St. Clair, with no mercy, takes the third point with. Absolute ease. It was a stroll through the park. A point that's usually seen as the roughest to get through was just made to look like a joke <laughs> right there <laughs> for Sinclair. Just the Baptiste ultimate with all that amplified damage. Once again, just setting up Jub Jub to do whatever the heck he wants. Just hold down that left click you know, and at just that, At that point, I'm pretty sure Jub Jub can just take his hand off the keyboard and put it one hand on the mouse. <laughs> just... Just hold your face on, on yeah. the mouse button at that point. But Nose on mouse were, one. It was a good setup, and it definitely made that final point much more bearable. Now, Stevens have a bit of a, a mountain to climb. Of course, getting the three cap is always difficult, but they also have to deal with the fact that St. Clair has 212 still in the bank. St. Clair actually has to be a little bit cautious because Dorado is known for the counter roll. And okay. the counter roll as some people that I know like to call it, is if you roll one team, oh. <laughs> the other team, you might get a little bit cocky and the other team might just come back with even more fire. It's like the whole mentality of, oh, that was a good strat, let's use it too. Oh, it actually works for us yeah, too. Yeah, right? That, that is well, that's one thing that Dorado is well known for is th what we like to call in my Discord group, the counter roll. Fair enough. And from what it seems, I'm trying to be quiet because I don't want to try and uh, accidentally coach the players, but we do have uh, what looks like a very similar team composition as to what Saints pulled off for their attack. We have almost a mirror comp except switch the Ana and the Mercy. And here we go. There's the, the lift on the May wall is okay, going to take out bad player because when you lift the May wall, it takes them out of the immortality field. Oh, now it's perfect then. And so Jub Jub just has free reign here on the top. Jub Jub going to try to just bully the May, and they're going to opt to rotate off the high ground and take the corner. And get him while you can still keep them stuck in between those arches. Another very difficult area to push Good through. call by St. Clair because the, um, St. Clair doesn't have the close spawn, so if they get picked from the high ground, they have to come all the way back. Right. Yeah, they're able to keep this truck kind of stuck in between this... Uh, this little tunnel, and Walla finding himself the pick. Nice headshot onto Rock. Yes, that was a nice pick onto Rock, but Rock is going to get prezzed by the Mercy. And Walla is going to get pulled, Brad? halted by the Orisa, but he has his ice block, so, you know, Orisa, nice pull, but it doesn't work on him. <laughs> Tank form just about ready for Jub Jub. Kingdom Heart almost getting dropped, actually, but. Jub Jub the taking tank. the tank form. As soon as he says there's no immortality field, and he's gonna oh my goodness. choose to jump high in the air, kills the May, but at the same time, Bad Player and Jester take out May and Bastion on St. Clair. And we have an amplification matrix ready on that. Who is it? Gold Banana? Yeah. And he does not need to use it because they should they should be able to cap this. Um, St. Clair might just choose not to. Yeah, not so you to remember go. how you were saying about. Uh, doing so well that you kind of feel yourself and you start making plays that you probably wouldn't ordinarily do. Yeah. I think completely bypassing your uh, 
team support and diving into the middle of the enemy team would count as that move, even if you're a tank or not? Yeah, yeah, you know, but in his defense, like, if he did jump up in the air with that rocket jump on, ba on uh, Bastion, and he did get that three-piece, that would have been absolutely insane. But Stevens Institute, they were fully ready for that. It was definitely high risk, high reward that did not pay out for him this time. Bastion, Bastion gets lifted off the payload, but he's going to choose to drop off, remembering what happened last time he got lifted. Nice little pull from Steven oh. Institute is going to take out Couch early, and that's tank mode coming out for Bastion. He pulls it from the bottom ground, a little bit questionable because yeah, you can't, you can't really hit anybody. Yeah, here. you can't see anybody. But there's going to be the pull, so maybe he can hit that Bastion. Jump Jump gets knocked down. Bad player going to take out the Bastion. Immortality field down on. Uh, Stevens Institute, okay. but it's going to be taken out and... They're going to try and clean this up as a group of, like, two or three. St. Clair is showing that, hey, we have two su two supports of a May. What do you have? That was actually absurd. A nice play there from St. Clair. It's two or three men down in that, that fight, and they turned it. absolutely nutty by St. Clair. Now, that being said, this next push for Stevens is going to be absolutely stupid. We have five alts on deck. And bad player, he had just used his, but just, I mean, just sit in the back, just open fire. You're still doing your thing. Yeah, and so uh, if you remember last time St. Clair got uh, held on this point, they moved to rotate around the back and take the high ground. But this time, Stevens College is going to wrap around the back oh. and take the bottom side. Nice little gravatic flux is going to pull up players. And then Bastion goes down, but it's res by the Mercy. Mercy goes down. Immortality Field goes down. Couch kills himself. Jub Jub picks up the Baptiste, and that is another wipe. I think Stevens Institute's gonna choose to uh, reset once more. Yep, just gonna, all of them gonna eventually go down here on top of the turret. I, I wonder Here's how uh, how, how Couch killed himself, because you know, uh, your accretion, like the big rock you can form, mm -hmm. it does damage, splash damage to yourself, and oh. your little orbs that you hold in your hand when you're Sigma also do damage to yourself, so many ways that that could have gone down. Yeah, could even just like shot down at the bridge, but then didn't, didn't uh, didn't thread the needle too much and like yeah. hit the edge of the bridge and it came back up at him. Uh, big brain plays. And here we go. Stevens Institute gonna just go right for the payload this time. Not gonna wrap around. And we have tank form for Jub Jub, and he's gonna choose to go for the uh, go for the wrap round. I wonder if he's gonna go big. Yeah, I see. They're gonna if, they're not, just give this. Good. Oh, there we go. Oh, I, I thought they were just about to C9 that. There is the tank form coming up, but is there somebody on point? There is Jub Jub, Jub going in. Jub Jub going to take out the Mercy. He's going to take out the Orisa. There's a nice dramatic flux oh. for Sigma, but Bastion's like, hey, what's going on? I got a big tank. And well, unfortunately for St. Clair, they weren't actually able to hold on to it. So in the meantime, Stevens does manage to keep this thing pushed. And they have three minutes and one second left. So that's a whole minute right now above St. Clair. If they can roll like St. Clair did, they're going to be in a good position to just, like I said, even it out. At I, the start of this, I told you there's a, such thing as a counter cap or counter roll, and that might just happen right here. And we do have the only ultimate currently for Stevens is the tank form, and Jussie is the only one with the ult for St. Clair. So they're going to pop it here, but in a very, very similar fashion, we see the Bastion just opening fire on everybody in this corridor. And it could very well be an identical push from what we saw from St. Clair. Uh, bad player also has his tank form, so he can choose to melt anybody as they choose comes. To, as they push. He's going to go for the May. He's going to take out the May. And there's uh, Stevens Institute just trying to take out everybody and cap the point real quick. Yeah, he's trying to we'll get it by it. force. And Although St. Clair, Clair is responding. St. Clair I do have the close spawns, and at this moment in time, St. Clair does still have more time in the time bank than Stevens Institute. So Stevens Institute does cap this. Hammond! Hammond's going to come in, and they're just going to keep stalling out. That is a awkward amplification matrix by Baptiste. Oh, there we go. Hammond in the exact spot he essentially needs to be to just stall this out. That is perfect. Like perfect for the Hammond because he can just keep spinning in circles. He doesn't even hit a wall. And the attackers have to walk actually a pretty far distance to try and get back into this fight. Hammond going to take Mercy out of it, but she can just fly right back into the fight. St. Clair in prime position to actually keep this. Yeah, they definitely have defender's advantage, and a lot of the reinforcements have arrived. You see, trying to deal with this double tank line. They're the only ones Arisa here at gonna the moment. Go down. Hammond is the last one left for Stevens Institute, and St. Clair actually hold that. I don't know how they held that, but props to St. Clair. 
bad player taking out Jussie in his own little, like, I don't oh, know. Oh, and that's a stagger, too, with a minute left. Like, Stevens is Stevens probably going to have one more push, plus just trickle from people switching to speedy characters. And they have two alts on Stevens Institute, and Jub Jub with his alt, Walla and Kingdom Hearts both going to probably actually, you know, Couch might actually get his alt, too. That's going to be four alts in the next fight for St. Clair. And we have Mercy right off the bat taking... Oh, Walla. there we go, Walla. Bad player going to go down early, but will Mercy go for the res? But this is a pretty good spot. They're going to try to take out the Immortality Field. Immortality Field comes out, then the Death Blossom is going to follow. Death Blossom comes out, and he's going to wipe the floor with Stevens Institute. Mercy going to go down. Everybody going to go down. St. Clair holding on strong, and they are in prime position to take map three. With only seven seconds left on the clock, is there anybody who could charge in? Yes. Bad player going to try and be the hero and use this Meteor Strike effectively. Meteor Strike going to not come in effect. Going to put it into overtime. Hey, See Hammond's if anybody again. can get here. Hammond's going to hold as long as he can. And Lucio's oh, Lucio. last one left. And if Lucio can hold on, Winston can hold on. Oh, they're bringing out all the jumpers now, but it doesn't oh. matter. That clock goes down. St. Clair takes map three and the whole match. St. Clair, that was insane that they held that. That's all I can say is that that was insane that they held that. It was almost looking like an identical push from what we saw from St. Clair on Dorado where they got the three cap. But let's see. This, oh, just right at the very end here. This is going to be the play of the game for Jub Jub again. Oh, we're going to see a nice little death blossom. I don't know exactly how many kills itself got, but it sure as heck did a ton of damage. And Props a... to Stevens Institute. They did come out with the fire. You know, they almost had that, that counter roll. They, uh, their their role was uh, just not as good. You know, that they did the damage. They did the job. But St. Clair coming out on top with the prime brick wall defense. It was just meters short. It was very close to making it to that point. At but one just, moment, I'm pretty sure it was 0 0.68 meters. That is definitely going to want to rewatch that because that, that, that was length, so close. That is probably the length of a Sigma toe. <laughs> That's crazy. Well, I do want to thank you again, Seymour, for coming in and doing the commentary with me here. It Hope was, you enjoyed yourself. Yeah, it was my pleasure. I enjoyed myself a lot. And we look forward to coming back live starting next week. We'll be, of course, on twitch.tv slash saintsgamingca. Be sure to follow if you have not done so already to watch this and all of our Saints Gaming Team's matches live when they happen. And want to give a, one more congratulations to the St. Clair College Overwatch team for pulling both matches out today, or yesterday and today, in close Game 3 scenarios. So, they started off the season a little bit rocky with the Varsity Invitational. But now that the regular season or the preseason of Tespa is getting in, they're I, I, I like what I, I like what I saw today. I I really did. They um even though like Stevens Institute game one they kind of like they showed a lot of dominance in game one. Saint Clair just just stayed composed and they decided we're not gonna win or we're not gonna lose. Sorry, <laughs> let me correct myself. They did win. They're not. It, I Saint know Clair what you saying, mean. Saint Clair saying nice and composed. But with that, that is everything that we have for the stream. Once again, thank you, Seymour. Thank you, Nick, for being our observer, allowing us over here to just worry about commentary. You can't hear his boss. voice, but you can see his work through the screen. Absolutely. So, again, Overwatch matches every Sunday, but we have plenty of matches throughout the week. But one more time, be sure to follow us on every social media. St. Clair CA on all of or St. Clair CA, Saints Gaming CA on all of them. And... I'm Danners. This I'm, is Seymour. I'm, yeah, I'm Seymour. Thank you again. Have a great night, everyone.